welcome back to the channel and if you're new welcome to the channel and i got another story time for y'all this one is actually good this um this happened my freshman year in high school and i was i don't even know what was going on in my mind when i did this but i actually almost shot myself in this story and actually i do have a couple stories of where i almost got shot but i'm gonna just say this one we'll do part two if y'all want to hear part two Winter break, my scene, my fr my freshman year of high school, and I was at my auntie's house, caked up on the phone because she had Wi-Fi. Caked up on the phone with the girl I was uh, with at the time, and uh, you know, kicking it, chilling. Uh, I was on Snapchat doing, sending her many little, little sending her many vlogs what I was doing, or if I was cooking, I did a little cooking, you know, little cooking uh, videos for her. You know, young YouTuber at, at its finest. And then one day, my uncle walked in and he uh, put his pistol up on the uh, TV stand. He go upstairs, take a shower. I see space and opportunity. Young 14 year old me, you know how they say curiosity killed the cat. I go over there, pick up his gun, run to the kitchen, you know, just in case it make any sound or anything. I run to the kitchen. I'm holding it like this. I'm figuring out on the trigger, but I'm holding. You know how you feel like a dope boy and you holding a gun and you like, oh, you trying to, you trying to figure out what you're doing with it. You know, trying to figure out what you going, you know. So I'm holding it like <sighs> in the kitchen, like like I'm like I'm mad, like I'm mad. Yeah, yeah. I'm like I know what I'm doing tight in the kitchen holding it. I get to feel myself so hard, I cock it back. I see a bullet load up. It loads a bullet in the chamber. And I'm like, oh, now we really working with something now. Now we really working with something, so. Okay, so I'm like, oh, I gotta get that bullet out because that can get me in trouble or my uncle in trouble. I don't know what I did, but I ended up jamming the uh, the gun. So the, jam the gun ended up jamming, and it's like, there's no way, like. So now I'm, now I'm stuck. Space and opportunity. Right, picked up this man's gun, took it and ran to the kitchen, and now it's jam. Then this man is upstairs in the shower. I don't know how this happened, but out of the blue, so I'm sitting here trying to figure out how to get, take this blood out of the chamber so it's not ready, for, you know, because it was ready just to shoot. All you had to do is put your hands on the trigger and it was going to shoot, it was going to blow. So I'm like, I got to fix this. I don't know how I went away, but I, I'm over here trying to fix it in there. I ended up pulling the trigger. It was like, pop! Luckily, one, I was already holding it downward. You know what I'm saying? Two, it hit like this much. This is my big toe. This is my foot down here. This is the space from my foot in the bullet. It had this made this small little bullet hole in the in my auntie's kitchen floor. I was so in awe, like no, I didn't. I was so scared for one, but then I was like, am I okay? For two, and I was cool. I checked my foot and I was like, wow, I almost shot myself. I didn't even know that I almost shot myself, but I almost shot myself and I didn't even know. That's how clumsy I was. I done ran and put the gun back on the TV stand, laid it all perfectly, shaking, whole body shaking, face red, uh, ears ringing, cause it, the, the, from the gun, from the, from the gun or whatever. Mind you, we in this little apartment, so I'm pretty sure the whole complex has heard everything that's going on. And all of a sudden, I hear my uncle running down them steps. He had soap all on his ear, all on his head. All, he was literally in there. He, he was in there cleaning himself, you hear me? And he said, you all right? You all right? He done ran down the steps. This man is soaking wet and soaked up. Ran down the steps and he said, you all right? You all right? I'm like, yeah. I'm okay. I'll act it. Like, yeah, but yeah. I was nonchalant. Like, yeah, I'm okay, but I'm scared as heck. Like, I, I don't even know what's going on. Like, I'm I'm just as surprised as you are. I, I, like, we both sitting there like, you all right? You all right? Because I don't know if I'm all right. I'm just in shock now, you know? I don't even know if, I, if if this is really happening. I don't even know if I really just almost shot myself. <laughs> so, 
Um, he like, what happened? I'm like, nothing. He like, okay. <laughs> he like, you all right though? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. And then we proceed to do whatever we do. And I'm pretty sure he told my auntie or whatever. So she came home and she like, what happened? And I'm like, I, 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 I almost, I accidentally shot his gun. That's what happened. <laughs> and I, and I just couldn't. I had no words. But the only thing I was afraid of was going home. Cause my mom didn't play none of that. We didn't play like, you know, going over somebody's house and you know doing something like that. I, I just thought I was gonna get in trouble. Luckily, my mom worked third shift. And when I got home, it was midday, which is when she heads out for work. So I was cool. You know what I'm saying? But there was actually no consequence now that I think about it. And I think that's because I actually learned my lesson. <laughs> don't touch the guns again. Especially if you don't know what you're doing. And back then, I didn't know what I was doing. At all. My, my uncle actually, uh, actually ended up showing me, uh, actually, you know, how to shoot out of a gun. And, you know, that's something that my family does. Like, when somebody dies, uh, birthdays, uh, New Year's, holidays, whatever. Fourth of July, pop, pop, pop. We shooting it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Pop, pop. That's just what we do. You know, it's just part of this. You know, and I'm pretty sure there's, there's a lot of people out there that do that do something like that. It's just a way of celebrating, you know, showing love or whatever. But, yeah, my uncle ended up showing me and letting me shoot out the gun. Eventually. But, um... Yeah, almost shot my foot at the age of fourteen, and and that was just a blessing because I'm I was I was, I'm an athlete too. I played basketball. That would have been, you feel me? Everything, everything. And I thank God, thank God, nothing happened. But um, you know, I didn't actually shoot myself. But there was there was no there wasn't really a consequence. But I most definitely learned my lesson. Most definitely learned my lesson before. But that's it for today's video. And if you want to hear part two of how I almost got shot, and this is actually, this is actually in a, uh, that story was actually in a drive-by. So if you actually want to hear that story, comment down below. Share this video. Honestly, don't care if you like it, but give it a thumbs up for me. And subscribe to the channel. Got some uh, videos for y'all. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace.